Guys, if you have a Redmi Note 8 and if you want to install a custom room with good kind of performance, which means very smooth custom room and looking for AOSP based, Xroid could be a very good choice for you. It's based on Android version 11. I am using the latest official Xroid build for Redmi Note 8. It's a unified build, so yes, of course, can be installed on Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T, both of the devices. It's CAF based, so yes, it's good enough to use because of the performance. It's actually quite fast. I'm using for some time, the no lags and nothing else. The performance was quite smooth, as you can see, no lags. It's just good. I'm not talking about the scores like CPU throttling or Geekbench or whatever. If you don't know, I don't believe in these scores. These scores are just scores. What perform? What actual performance is what matters. So yes, the actual performance is actually quite good. It comes with the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. It has the Google Apps already included. You don't need to install any kind of separate Google Apps package for that. It's already included there. That's actually quite good. In the terms of quick settings panel, as you can see, it has a little bit different UI and the Wi-Fi. You can see their phone number written there, which means you have the indicator for how many how much strength you have for the network like wi-fi mobile data if you are using so in the screen recording yes you have the option available for that record or even show touches on screen etc but does not include some extra additional options we can talk about that later on in the terms of miui camera yes you get the miui camera pre-installed don't worry if you want to install usb you don't want to you know you, you don't want to lose the capacity of using the default camera it's there don't worry you can use a MIUI camera ai mode everything is present here for you and it's not a magic model i have not installed this separately it's already included i'm not sure about the google camera support by the way but that should also work without any issues a lot of google camera videos are already present on my channel you can go and check it out but right now in this build you get the MIUI camera which have the 48 megapixel options available for you that looks good but not Norma mode, pro mode, everything is present. So yes, you can give it a try if you want to. Also, best thing is, of course, if you use a custom room and don't want to, you know, don't want to compromise with the banking apps, then no worries, banking apps should work because I'm using the latest badges version 23 and safeness status does not have any kind of issues. If you go and check out the safeness status, the safeness status should be passed, CTS profile should be true. The thing is, if you use badges, you need to hide it from settings. If you don't hide it, you might face some issues, but if you hide it, then no worries. And if you don't install badges, you don't need to do anything. The safeness status is passing without having any issues as you can see i have enabled the magisk hide option in settings of course you can use some other interesting magisk modules also videos are already available on our channel and here comes the settings which has a little bit unique ui you don't get this ui in other custom rooms by the way about phone is at the top and also in other options you have some little bit of extra effects some little bit of android 12 related android 12 like bouncy effects are also present here in the terms of other ui as you can see what are you looking for at sectra minimalist which comes with some customization search bar is not there it's only icon there and here comes some other options for example if we move on to the options like display settings etc battery sounds in display you have the option to customize the blur adaptive brightness and general customizations etc the room does not come with major customizations by the way if you are a customization lover you might not love this but the options are good enough according to that the things are good enough because the battery backup is not so bad the performance is good and including that the battery backup is not so bad so yes it's good enough to use as a daily drive of course it comes with only 4000 mh battery let me note it so yes it's good enough i am not trying out this build for more than two days but still it's good enough security tab or you can say security section does not include the app locker unfortunately it has a fingerprint it has a face unlock but app locker is not there you can try out some custom launchers to get app lock but it's up to you not everyone uses app lock and here comes some minimal customizations minimalist and here some status bar quick settings buttons lock skin some basic customizations are included the ui is good enough but does not include major customizations you get the volume panel rate customizations but only two three styles are available and this is only one of those custom rooms which does not include any feature from android 12. A lot of custom rooms are already coming with Android 12 features. If you like that, you can use other custom rooms. But in this custom room, you get good performance, good battery backup. Everything is good enough. Stock kind of feeling with some minor customizations. If you want to install this, link is in the description to install. These were things I just wanted to let you know. And if you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.
I'm floating through the air. 